Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. And today we're gonna look at my April Shop My Stash recaps. I'm gonna share with you how much I've used all of these products that I've picked for my Shop My Stash um, this month. And if I even used them, if I've been if I've been able to ban any of these and stuff like that. So I'm gonna share with you all that. And if you're interested in what I'm wearing today, I have the uh, Wolfa palette by Shelby, Shelby Makeup. It's absolutely stunning. I've been wearing it all day and I really like the look that I've created and I really like the, uh, the way that this palette looks on me. So that's for the like initial part and now let's just get into the recap. Also, if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Sasha. I love indie makeup, I love colorful makeup, especially eyeshadows, and I love testing new products and just playing with them. And I've also been really into project pens and like banning my products, so that's also something you will see in this video. So, first I have the, uh, I have my singles. These are my four new singles from a makeup beauty shop. So here you can see the yellowy one is called Millenario. It's kind of like a yellowy orange with pink sheen and it's very flaky product. So I would usually like get a little bit on my finger, swatch it on the back of my hand. And then from the back of my hand, I would apply it to my eyes to make sure that I don't get any fallout. And the same thing I would do with the shade right next to it, which is called Enigma. It's a blue purple, kind of like periwinkle to purple with gold green reflects to it. It's a beautiful shade. Then I have this shade Toxic, which is a holochrome, uh, kind of like pinky purple with all different sort of sparkle. And then this shade is called Treasure and it's a white based kind of like highlighter, inner corner highlight that has pink and uh, like green to it. Very, very beautiful. Love all of these. Uh, I have like eight singles from Mika so far and I love them all and these are really really cool and cute. Then I have the uh, Colourpop blush. This is the Super Shock Cheek blush, uh, the matte one in the color Doozy. Oh and uh, I forgot to mention, this is a recap after all, the Mika singles. I've used all of them 11 times in total. I've used them like three or four times uh, each and in total it's 11 times. Then I have the shade Doozy from Colourpop. This is how it looks like. It's kind of like a peachy blush. I think when I bought it it was more corally but now it, I don't know, it looks more peachy for some reason. And we went from three to eight uses. I've been able to use it five times and it's a very cute one. I've I've been enjoying wearing this one lately, so I hope I'm gonna continue with that and I would like to pan it uh, at some point. Then I have the Colourpop uh, All Iced Up. This is kind of like a highlighter blush duo. Like it's a blush that has a pearl and it's actually really nice as a highlighter. And uh, it's called All Ace Tab. We went from 37 uses to 45 uses. So I've used it eight times. And I am still not hitting pen. Like, I thought I'm already gonna be able to pen this. But no, there's still no pen. Then uh, another makeup beauty shop is the Earth Wizard palette. This palette is so beautiful. I really, really love her. She is definitely more darker, grungier. Uh, but I think she's very cute. I've used all of these shades three and more times and uh, We've been able to go from five to ten looks. So I've used her five times and yeah, she's very beautiful She's small. She's stunning. I really really love her and I would recommend her to you, but she doesn't have a lot of um, depth to her like she's very much all mid-tones and a lot of the shades are kind of similar like the blues and the purples or like purpley pinks are very similar to each other but the shimmers in this are to die for and I would buy just for the shimmers anyways so that's that now I have the 
Essence Skin Tint. This is the Essence Skin Tint Hydrating Natural Finish Light to Medium Coverage SPF 30 and I have it in the shade 20. And we went from 2 uses to 5 uses, so I've used it 3 times. I, I'm still like testing it out, uh, but so far I really like it. It's very nice on the skin, very smooth, self-setting, doesn't really settle into any lines, doesn't feel greasy or sticky, and it looks very skin-like. You can see it a little bit on my forehead, but you can see every makeup on my forehead, so that's the only maybe like an issue but i really like the consistency of it and i like the way it wears and that it doesn't stick or anything and it's very quick to use then i have the colourpop tinkerbell palette which is my project pen palette uh, i haven't been able to create new pen i did change her up a little bit i've added this big smile uh colourpop single in here because i just really wanted that pop of yellow in there but yeah uh, we went from 28 uses to 31 uses, so I've only used her three times, but hopefully I'm gonna be able to pen her soon, or like create some new pens, because I would really want to do that. So that's for uh, Colourpop. Then we have the Hyper Precise Liner from Maybelline. This is the All Day Liquid Liner in the shade 720 Parrot Blue. It's a very beautiful kind of like um, electric blue. And we went from three uses to five uses, so I've only used it two times this month. I kind of I've put it I've put it uh, with my other eyeliners, like uh, gel liners for my waterline, and I always forget to use this one. So I have to be better at this, and I'm definitely gonna be using it more now that the summer is approaching. But yeah, I have to use that one, and we've only created two uses. Then. Uh, I've been able to use this uh, Superstay Vanilla Ink uh, lipstick from Maybelline in the shade 115 called Peppy. Uh, I've used it four times and I really like this but it's very similar to my other two shades. I have the shade Peachy and the shade Golden and this one is just a little bit more pinkier but all of these uh, lipsticks, they have a different case, but the color is very similar in all of them. So I would wish if they would actually like match it to the case or like to the packaging a little bit more. But that's maybe just me. Then I forgot to bring the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara because it's in my empties. I've been able to declutter that one. Uh, we went from 22 uses to 45 uses, so I've used her 23 times. And at 45 uses, she's a little bit dry and she doesn't really give me a lot. Uh, I could still technically use her, but there's not a lot of product and it doesn't... My lashes just don't look the same as they used to. So that's usually the point where I'm decluttering the mascaras, even though they're technically still like has have a little bit of product in them. Uh, she's very nice. She has a very strange applicator, like it's more flat from one side. Uh, but I've actually found out that I do like that size and that shape of it because it really uh, allows me to coat both my upper and lower lashes and it's really good at separating and lifting. So I do like that one. And then I also don't have here the Uden's Eye Cream Lipstick in the shade Love Jasmine because I was able to use it up. So that's also in my empties and you will see that soon. Uh, or maybe I've already uploaded these empties, I'm not really sure what goes first uh but i've used that one 14 times uh, i don't know how many uses were in that lipstick in total because i haven't counted that uh, as a whole but yeah she's gone there's just like tiny little bit and it oh it doesn't it doesn't really have any like pigment to it anymore or it's just kind of like waxy and weird uh so yeah another product that we've we've been able to finish up then I have the Nomad Cosmetic Ireland Wild Atlantic Way. This is a beautiful all green palette. We went from three uses to nine uses, so I've used her six times. I've used all of these shades three times, I believe. Some of them more. Maybe there are like two shades that I've only used twice, but you know, more or less. I'm ready to give my um, review on this one once I'll film the monthly haul for April and then the last palette is the Uden's Eye Soul Monet 2 
ballot that we've been able to use seven times. We went from 54 uses to 61 uses, which I'm very happy. And we have two new pens. So I've had this pen. I, I think I've already had this pen when I filmed the Shop My Stash video. I'm pretty sure that there was already a pen. And then I was able to pen the shade Mercury when I was uh, creating my nail polishes, which I will link down below if you want to see how I did that. And then the shade Galaxy happened very recently. And I am super happy about that because I thought that I'm going to have the pen sooner in the shade Galaxy. But yeah, it it was really... It was really fighting for its life. So that was seven uses for this one. And then the last product is the Rimmel Brow This Way uh, Brow Pomade and Powder in the shade Medium Brown. I thought that I'm gonna be able to use it up this month, but as you can see, there's just there's still a tiny bit of product left. Not a lot, and honestly, the shadow is already like really crusty and it's really hard to get it out. But I still have a little bit of that pomade, so I think this is um, like the May Shop My Stash will be the last Shop My Stash that I have this product in. I know I already said that for April, but yeah, I think I'm gonna be able to use it one more month, and then even if there's still some product left, I will declutter it because the powder doesn't really work that well anymore and I've used this one 28 times. I only had two days uh, on the weekend where I was using different product because I forgot this one here and I was at home with my parents. So that was the only uh, only reason, otherwise I would have used that every single day. So those are all of the products and how much I've used them. I'm very happy that I've been able to completely use up two products. Hopefully next month we're gonna be on the same number or maybe uh, even more or I'm gonna be able to pen more products next month. I was very happy for the Salmona palette and hopefully we'll keep go, uh, going and I'll be able to get more pens. Um, it's been a little bit stressful this month and probably next month will be also because I'm reviewing a lot of products. I've been kind of shopping a lot but I think that's gonna stop uh, in May because usually like the June, July beginning of August, the brands usually have kind of like a holiday, so there's not that many releases and I will be able to focus on my project pants. And then the whole shebang will start at the end of August and with September uh, going into Halloween. So hopefully it's gonna get a little bit slower and I'm gonna be able to actually show you some progress with the panning, uh, with the panning project. But that's all for today. Also, when it comes to eyeshadows, I was able to use all of these eyeshadows 32 times in total, which I actually didn't thought it's gonna be that high of a number because I feel like I wasn't focusing on these palettes that much and I was just reviewing and trying to pen products, but I've actually been able to use them 32 times. So technically every single day, even though it really doesn't count that way because I was using the makeup singles with other palettes and stuff like that. But still, I think it's a nice number. And I'm very, very happy and very proud of this month, even though it's been so stressful and quick uh, and fast. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if you uh, if you do these Shop My Stash projects and how did it go for you this month. And let me know if you have any of these products or if you would want to try any of these products. And what would be your picks for... May. I think my May Shop My Stash should be already up on my channel, so I will also link that up uh, for you, but definitely let me know what was what were your picks for next month. And I hope you have a great day, and I'll be very happy to see you in the next video. So, bye!